Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. Welcome to yet another exciting, fantastic, lovely, lovely, lovely Subpixel live stream. Will, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, things are uh things are okay. Just a That's Tuesday. That's good. Yeah, just a just Tuesday. Just a Tuesday. Just a Tuesday. Um, tonight's sponsor is Pacifica. Nice. Mine's delicious Schweppes. Um, you know, the thing about coronavirus is that it constantly reminds me of Corona, and I do like Cerveza. So I finally got off my lazy bunghole, and I went and got some uh, Cerveza the other day. Good stuff. Love it. Nice. You ever had Mexican beer? That like the no the drink Mexican beer. Is that a thing? You is it eat, actual beer? Well, no. It's just like you take any any beer, like any lager, and you uh, excuse me, you put lemon juice in it, and then you put a bunch of salt around the rim, like a margarita. You know, I think I have had that. Yeah, I I actually drank that a little bit when I first started drinking because it was a little bit easier to take that than just straight beer. You know, when you're yeah. not used to it. <clears throat> Anyways, um, folks, we're we're gonna be playing a real good game tonight. We're gonna be playing Dyson Spire program. I should probably share this with you somehow. Yes, that would be awesome. What if I did though? Wow. Let me turn it down on my side. Oh, is it loud? <laughs> oh geez, folks, all my audio settings are wonky because I also use a similar audio setup for racing because I don't want the engine to be very loud and then I can't hear my shift noises, I can't hear my teammates on Discord, etc. So, long story short, all my stuff's at whack. But, Daddy's daddy's made it working. Daddy's know, made I, I it working. You. Well, you were gone. Um, where did I go? When you were doing your race. Yeah, we'll talk about it on Thursday. Oh, I wasn't trying to drum it up. I was just... Hey, how dare you? How dare you? You know what we can't talk how, about is... How, how dare I? What we can talk about is... Can you check the stream and see if it's chunky? Checking stream. Can you talk about this creme brulee I've got? Yeah, it's chunky. Ah, uh, You know, it did this during Modern Warfare, but I don't know why. I'm gonna... I'm is gonna... it... Not the screen sharing, I don't think. Oh, I wonder if it is. Well, let me let me try something first, real quick here. Yeah. I mean, it's it's running chunky to me as well. Yeah, it's 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 even chunky in my OBS preview. It's weird. Is that better? Seems real good. On stream? Uh, no, not really. Maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna kill. Oh, I think it was Discord. Oh yeah, that game's running a lot more smoothly now. Let's try Parsec. Sorry right. folks, behind the scenes. I feel like Discord was fine for a long time. It was. Music, excuse me one second, I'm just gonna... Excuse me, ASMR time. Switch off the game. You ready? Here it yeah, is. do it. Probably can't hear that too well. I can hear it pretty well, actually. It's also not a great crust. Um. Oh, email was just sent to verify your login. I feel like I'm just about to get that. Approve my new location. Right up your bungle. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Lucky. Okay. I. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, what do you see? Shizer. So loud. Please stop. It makes you feel better. You don't need noise at all if you want to just kill it. Um, I knew I was missing something. I got to put this on my phone so I can look at the stream. Folks, I'm a mess. Um... I'd rather not talk about why, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna type why I'm a mess today, and um, and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna text. I'm gonna type it to Will. Oh. Oh. oh that's <laughs> I did not mean to send that in all caps. <laughs> that would have made it even better. I don't care. It's a pretty good uh, joke. <laughs> um, okay, Parsec, can you see the game? Uh, yes, I can see the game. Oh, you know, no, it's... Okay, wait. It's when I'm in the game that it gets chunky. Oh, no. Okay, wait. I, I'm just gonna... I am running at a large... Oh, well, there's your problem. <laughs> resolution. Let me drop it down to 1920 by 1080. I was thinking we need to invent a game for Tuesday streams that makes it so we don't talk about things. <laughs> uh, Bite into this. I emailed the PR guy who sent us this code and mm -hmm. immediately got an email back. I was like, oh, no. Like, well, that was fast. It's like, I'm on vacation from January 22nd to February 1st. If there's an emergency, please email. Like, no, not an emergency. Isn't that Chinese New Year? Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah, I'm muting this because the audio keeps ducking. Um, I why is the audio ducking? I don't know, but it's awful. Look, I don't mean to throw Maggie under the bus, but she does not make a great crimp or lick. Oof, I do. Oof. Made it once, Oof. nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Will, tell uh, me what you know about Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, I know it's a video game. I know you're a robot. Uh, yep. And I know um, you were excited when I said we had a free code for it. <laughs> I was literally about to buy it. So if this game was kickstarted, it's a Factorio type game. It's actually very, very similar to Factorio in some ways that are a little troublesome. For example, this is my tech tree. And if you notice, most things cost science. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. There's a lot of conveyor belts, a lot of similar resources. Um, even some of the like resource icons look very oh, similar. Yeah, that is. <laughs> there are some differences though. Um, I'll kind of just uh, call them out as I see them. Number one, liquids can be transported on a belt, which is actually kind of nice. I, I prefer that. I always thought pipes were kind of, I want to say stupid, but it didn't feel like it was worth the trouble. Yeah. You can unlock stacking certain buildings, certain buildings. So these are actually three science on top of each other. The, uh, s s you can make, you can make, to automate, the, the science labs make both, they both make the science and they use the science for research, which is a little weird but you toggle them. So you say, this science lab is going to make research. I mean, make science, gotcha. or this science lab is going to consume science for research. Okay. Um, the big thing though is that this is on a planet, right? <gasps> I'm gonna turn that. Was I, this planetary annihilation? Um, so you can see, I got some cool stuff going on around here. Got my miners, my storage, my conveyor belts. I played about six hours of this so far. Five hours of that was last night alone. It's definitely, wow got that hook oh. um and then you can do this i'm actually in a oh. solar system oh. and you can go to other planets so for example this planet that I i'm currently like on this. has a lot of stuff this planet has hydrogen and deuterium and then you can actually go to no <gasps> let's harvest the sun well that's the whole thing you know what a dyson sphere is yeah it's like the giant space station around the sun, right? Yeah. Back over again. Sorry, what was that? If I remember the genesis of the idea, basically it was, a, I think it was a sci-fi author who was talking about how, when you think about it, sun is outputting like a huge amount of energy, right? But we are capturing such a small, small, small percentage of that with solar panels, etc. And plant growth. I'm not going to stop eating this. I mean, it's not great, but I'll, I'm not going to stop. Um, so the idea was, okay, well, then how would you capture 
all of the star's energy without like destroying the star. Basically the idea is you build a spherical cage around the star called a Dyson sphere. And therefore literally everything that the star is outputting is captured by the sphere. So kind of the premise Dyson of this. Sphere. Yeah, it's so kind of the premise of this is that you are trying to build a Dyson sphere. In order to do that, you got to have all these resources and stuff. The so first contemporary description. Oh, sorry, I was just going to update everyone you go on ahead. this. <clears throat> first contemporary description of the structure was by Olaf Stapledon in the science fiction novel Star Maker in 1937. Wow, that's pretty old. He described every solar system surrounded by a gauze of light traps, which focused the escaped, escaping solar energy for intelligent use. Um, it was the concept was later popularized by Freeman Dyson in the 1960 paper "Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation," which is a great read. Um, isn't this the thing they thought was around a star at one point in real life? I mean, they thought they found one. Yeah, because there was that like star that kept getting blocked at specific intervals. I yeah. thought maybe it was a. Where did that? Can you look that up? That may not have gone anywhere. Hi, Lacroix boy. Ah, Lacroix boy. Hey, Lacroix boy. I've been thinking about going back to Lacroix. Kind of been sampling a lot of sparkling waters lately. What flavors would you recommend? I, I think, do not like Lacroix. I, you know, I didn't like it, but then I went and did a bunch of like budget sparkling waters and then somebody like i was at a picnic or something somebody's like i have lacroix you want one i was like yeah sure and i drank it and it had so much more flavor than the budget stuff i had been drinking yeah i guess it depends what you're going like i i like fizz more than flavor okay so i schweppes i think is the fizziest outside of hal's which is a new york regional one hal's is so like fizzy that you just from resting opening it you have to open it let some out close it like you can't just open it because it'll blow oh um so that and then schweppes i think is the best polar's okay but i think as far as flavor it's probably Lacroix is more standout ish yeah peach pear and hibiscus is the recommendation from the croy boy i'll have to try those um i think my favorite right now is surprisingly okay well first of all i have a cheat i have a cheat one we got this one from giant we got it from giant it was their house brand it's mm -hmm. sparkling water but it also had like more flavoring and a little bit of sugar added so it was like a quarry but like twice the flavor but still nowhere near a soda. Mm. That was a cheat, though. I feel like that doesn't count as sparkling water. It had too much it had too much in it. But I think my favorite is, this is going to be a little controversial, I would say, is Perrier. You know, Perrier's not bad. Yeah. I See, what we've been doing is we've been going to Costco, because that's usually where we get our sparkling water, because we buy it in bulk for cheap. And I've been sampling a little bit, because they usually have... Like, they have their, their budget brand, which is okay. It's fine. And then for, like, 30% more, you can get, like, a fancier brand like Perrier, but it's still cheaper than normal because you're buying it in bulk. So I've been buying a bunch of different ones like that, like, every time I go get a different one. Mm -hmm. And I got Perrier. And it's funny because it has no flavor. Like, it's not flavored, but it has its own, like, flavor, and it tastes really good. I got so used to it. And I think what I may end up settling for is I found that there is a Costco store brand version of Perrier. They just call it like Italian sparkling mineral water. And it's close enough that I may go with that from now on. Ooh. Yeah, I used to absolutely hate sparkling water until I gave yeah. up soda and I needed something. And yep. if I drank the same amount of soda that I drink in seltzer, mm. I would be 700 pounds. I like drink f probably four to five cans of seltzer a day. I think uh, I'm especially when I work from home. Yeah, it was a ton. I think I, I really like it because it's just like, it's just enough to trick me into drinking more water. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm also one of those crazy people who likes water. Um, like, I like drinking water. Um, but this just makes it easier and busy. Um, okay, so I found an article from the 2nd of September, 2016. Researchers just found a second Dyson Fear Star. Sphere Star. Not That's Dyson crazy. <clears throat> um... Strange pattern of light near a distant star called KIC 8462852. Uh, nothing like anyone ever uh, observed before. When a planet passes in front of a star, star's brightness usually dips to around 1%. But for this star, it had been experiencing dips of up to 22%. Suggesting oh, wow. that something huge is zooming past. And now a second star with a strange dip in brightness has been identified. Ooh, named EPIC or EPIC. I mean, EP. The star's estimate. Uh, uh, erect Venus. Um, um, that's interesting. But anyways, it's really interesting. You know, but it's crazy, though. The, the, the thing that makes me skeptical, honestly, is that I remember somebody doing the calculation, and in order to build a Dyson sphere, you have to, like, reach such a higher level of civilization because. because you will not find enough material in the solar system itself. So you basically have yeah. to do like interstellar travel reliably Unless, to be able to gather materials to build one Dyson sphere. The only thing I could think of is if you went from your solar system to one with a smaller star that didn't have to sustain life. Maybe, I, but it's still pretty big though. No, yeah, I agree it's still big, but it's yeah. not like you're you're building it around a star that sustains life. You could find probably a smaller star. Yeah. But just remember, it's uh, it's not like you're building it directly around the star. You still have to maintain a distance too. Yeah. To have safe but I, I mean, uh, it's at least a little bit smaller, the diameter. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah uh, that's cool. Sorry if it seems like I'm doing nothing. I'm kind of waiting for this tech to finish and then we can jump to uh, another planet. Um, how is, like, is that, is the Dyson Sphere, like, assuming everyone lives on that? Or is it somehow beaming the energy back it, to the planet? It depends. I think the main assumption is that it's either beaming back to the planets or that you are living on the Dyson Sphere. Could you run a cable from the sun to the Earth? And as long as it can rotate 360 degrees... I guess you could, right? But, yeah. Yeah, but the other thing is we, we also do change distance from the air, from the, uh, whatever That's true. It. It's so. made it loose enough. I wonder if that actually worked. You know what does make me mad? You know, maybe you could look this up for me real quick. I don't think I can pick things up off a of belt. That's Dyson honestly annoying. Sphere. What's the name of this game? Program. Dyson Sphere. Program. Click the belt itself, and in the dialog, it will show you the item is on the belt. You click the item or icon, and click and hold the icon to just take from the building. Oh. Yeah. Kind of clean. I mean, Sorry. it's not as good as just holding, what is it, Z in Factoria? Yeah. So I, I just need that because what I need to do is... Um, oh, load this thing up? Well, so you... you it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of annoying. You're... Mecca has fuel. If you run out of fuel, you can still move and stuff, but basically it's burning the fuel to do like the onboard crafting, to do flight, uh, etc., and to do construction. So I just need to. I like. I've, I've been playing. I played a bunch of Satisfactory back in. I want to say like November. I was really enjoying it. It's it's easier to I feel like Factorio get lost in e more easily because you're looking down on it versus satisfactory. Wait, it's so you're, hard to get a bigger picture. Oh, you're saying you're getting lost in satisfactory more easily? Yes, I'm like losing track of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I, I feel um, like this is the same thing with me. Which I think that's why I think satisfactory would be a better multiplayer game because. It's not like two gods fighting over each other. You feel more like an employee versus yeah. a Factorio. When we played that together, it feel like you're always serving someone's vision. Mm -hmm. um, 
which there was someone was saying they were streaming Factorio and they tweeted like a thumbnail for it and the Factorio account replied and said hey can you change the photo because you rotated it and it just bugs me when people rotate Factorio images <laughs> <laughs> I was like this is the best use of a Twitter account it is nice having this in 3D because you can kind of it's cool seeing all the conveyor belts and stuff yeah um, yeah, how do you tell the conveyor belt to go over or under? Oh, so I'll... Or like Z-axis. Like, can you build one really high up? You know, I think so. So it's pretty simple. There's no tunnels. It's just... So you click a starting point, you click an end point, right? So I'll do that. And then you click a starting point, and then you use the arrow keys to say go up one level. It's, it's a little annoying because, like, if there was something here I wanted to go over, I, I can't go up one level and then go down one level, I have to like go up one level, stop, and then restart it and go down. Oh, one. that's like, yeah, I mean, I think I can go real high, but you gotta have enough like runway space. You know, like I can't go that high immediately. Oh. But yeah, it's 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 much it's much simpler to do the tunnel stuff because I didn't even have to unlock that. I just had to unlock the conveyor belts. Um, they were halfway there. I've got fuel. Hey, my guy. I'm just, I'm worried about running out of fuel on the way there. Filled out an application for a new apartment. Oh, where's it at? What's the address? Uh, uh, specifically, it's uh, 1600 pen. Um, hmm. uh, no, it is... Uh, it's uh, an old folks home. Yes. <laughs> it, uh, it's like 20 minutes out farther out of the city. Oh, um, that's nice. Yeah, it's like a two-family home, but built as two apartments. Oh. In a two, like a two-family home. Uh, and then... So what's the, like, square footage bed bath? Uh, it's two beds, one bath. The The second bed is more of, like, an office than a bedroom. Uh, That's fine, though. It's got, but it's all, like, open, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of excited if we get it. Oh, I have to move all my stuff. That does but sound exciting. More, cons more uh, like, off. Uh, office space so I can like set everything up. Yeah. And I uh, have some miniature building or uh, model making stuff. It's stupid. I started a Soviet car carrier and I'm almost done with it, but like, it's just such a bad model. Like, it just has a lot of really stupid tiny parts. And I just want to be done with it, but I've lost steam. And I really just want to build some gun club, but I need to finish this first. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> I need what? to rip open my cheap Gunpla and just build them, because I really want to finish this Gunpla I started, but I was doing a, a proper job on it, mm -hmm. and like doing it nicely, so I need to build some crappy ones just to be happy. Um, I need to buy some more. I um, have the yeah, I haven't had much of a desire to do any model stuff. To lift off I to Karen and I have been watching through those 4K Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and it made me remember that Games Workshop at one point made figures, hey. and they still do. Are you guys done watching those yet? Uh, no, but I'll try to finish them before I give them to you, or before we meet up. Okay, party time. Um, but yeah, there's Games Workshop has like they're like slightly based off of the movies. But they have like a good Gandalf the Grey set that comes with him on a horse in the carriage and by himself. And I was like, oh, back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the Q R key to hold down the right mouse button, dragging to sideward flight. Oh, I think I just did. Whoa. Oh yeah, I've got a little radar down there. Don't hit too hard. I don't think I can. Wait, 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 what's the backwards key? Oh no. <laughs> and we never saw him again. <laughs> Don't understand. This is a little. 
the Iron Giant flew away. Okay, that's how I slow down. Okay. How do I... Uh, oh no. Fly into the sun. Fly into the sun. I might start playing this game. It's pretty good. It looks genuinely good. How do I... I'm not used to people giving us keys to good games. That's true. That um that rune arch is the other key we got a couple weeks ago. It looks actually fun. Someone described it as Rimworld, but you're the attackers. Oh. So. I can't see anything. Oh, it's just like black. I think I landed. Very close to landing. I'm trying to land. Is this just a gas giant? Yeah, how do you harvest a gas giant? I don't know. I keep trying to move your camera. It doesn't work. Okay, alright. Let me just... Maybe you have to build, like, gas, like, Bespin. Maybe. And, like, fly them over. Can you build spaceships? I think I'm, like, s I don't want to say I'm stuck here, but oh, no. <laughs> See, the problem is I'm using a lot of fuel by doing this. Yeah, it seems like a mistake. Okay. All right, come on. Come on, let me take off. Jesus. There's an image here of a is a diagram of a Dyson shell, radius of one AU, which would encompass Venus and Mercury. Wow. It says three M thickness, which I assume would be meters. All right, I got off the planet. Okay, so there's that planet. Where where else is? Let me let me go to the solar system real quick. Can I go to Yield on one? No, don't make me land. I don't want to land. Let me let me check. Let me find a planet here then. Ice field planet. Yes, please. Ooh, let's go there. How do I? I don't. I don't know how to like set directions. I think it's back this way. That, that shows me pointed at the sun. There's got to be an easier way to navigate in this. I think I want to go. I did not realize the video game Prey, the original Prey, takes place yes. on a Dyson sphere. Is that accurate? Did you get picked up in a spaceship? Uh, it says, more specifically, it's a Dyson net construction of organic and technological matter. Yes, Halo 4. Oh, Halo Wars has a Dyson sphere. Sorry, this whole page has uh, Dyson spheres in pop fiction, pop culture. They have a video game part. Star Trek on um, Star Wars Old Republic, Stellaris. Yeah, that makes sense. You can make dice and ring. Among Us. Hey, uh, this last entry, the PC game Dyson Sphere program. Players are tasked with the construction of a Dyson Sphere. Okay. 
Okay, I'm, books. I'm going. I'm getting there. Ready. Hmm. This isn't a uh, sponsored plug, but I have been using the app Tubi, which is a free app. Uh, oh, and they have it's got commercials, though. Yeah, it's got commercials in it. But boy, do they have an unlimited supply of terrible science fiction and fantasy movies. Hey, guess what's free on Crunchyroll awesome. now? What's free on Crunchyroll? Crunchyroll. Mobile Suit Gundam. 0079. <gasps> oh, I, don't I have that on my Plex server? Probably. I, uh, it's, it's not, I didn't do it. I don't know how it started, but I'm definitely encouraging it. But somehow I got the iRacing community that I'm in that does endurance races. There's probably like 30 or 40 of us total. Like most of them are now watching Gundam because it's on Crunchyroll. <laughs> and it's like, hell yeah. I need a TV show to watch. I just keep not. I, I started. I need to finish Star Blazers Yamato. I keep just like defaulting and playing video games and watching Giant Bomb. Yeah. Um, okay, while we're flying, let me just show you some of this tech. So, so they have like generic tech. But then I want to show you some of this other stuff. Intraplanetary logistics system. So, like, you have a requester pad and you have a logistics drone. So, it's like you fill it up and then it takes off and it lands somewhere else on the same planet. And then the same thing between stars. So, I can have like a, uh, a titanium planet where all I do is mine titanium and refine it. And then a shuttle takes off and lands on my main planet and drops oh, a bunch of titanium. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. How am I doing? I'm getting there, folks. Um, there's the stuff to actually build. There's like interstellar power transmission, so I can. What's the What's the last thing? I think it's just the mission complete, and then there's this matrix, and then there's a bunch of like artificial stars, planetary ionosphere. Oh, okay, here we go. Are there enemies? Not right now. This game there did just be? come out on Early Access. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I believe eventually there will be. Oh, no, don't overshoot it. Die on impact. Die on impact. Oh, I would love that. Okay, I got coal veins. I just got blood veins. Oh, let me turn on this. This is a thing I got that gives me... Titanium, baby! Oh. Well, let me mine some coal real quick, because I need it for my... Yeah, I need it for my robo. Hi. Um, yeah, so basically I could set up a titanium mining here. Oh, so you could set it all up here and then it'll shovel it back to like your warehouse somewhere? Yeah, yeah, basically I could set up a shuttle that will automatically take it to a different planet. Because Can you I... eventually set up those warehouses in space? I don't know about that. Not certain. Sorry, I was looking down a rabbit hole of a terrible video game that had a Dyson Sphere. Here we are, boys. Let me make a... Okay, so here's here's another cool thing. So you have this bar down here. So, for example, so pretty quickly I can go gathering. I want a miner. And I don't have a miner, so I can just double-click it. And it does do the factorial thing of where it will build these for you if you need to build them. That is that is one of those systems. We had that discussion of like, what's a game that created a system that people haven't started using yet? Like the Nemesis system. Yeah. That's a system everyone should just adopt. Absolutely. 100%. And then it also shows you what you're actually mining from. Okay, I need. I'm gonna download this. Here. 
one of your production facilities is time for more games. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. January, January, February is supposed to be the lull in video games, and it is not, it not, is not, not that. for me. Oh, I do have iron here. Okay, all right, so I won't starve on this planet. <laughs> Good to know. Favorite type of planet? We go on like Star Wars rules where it's like one biome for the entire planet. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. What do you, what do you got? I was going to say I do kind of like ice planets just because it's, I don't know what my obsession is with like Arctic exploration, but ice planets always scream pretty cool. But uh, I always think prison planets sound cool. Not in a I want to go there sort of way, but it's like, oh man, that's the prison planet. Like Dune has a prison planet that uh, Secundus... Oh, Septus Secundus. S S Sala Secundus. Yeah, which is a fantastically cool name. Um, where, yeah, where, that's where the Sardaukar from or whatever. Um, yeah, like, I guess like a, I, like Kashyyyk's pretty cool with the big trees and Wookiees. I guess the uh, Endor's kind of like that too. Kashyyyk's more tropical. Also, city planets are cool, of course. I don't this. I feel like I've done this before and it's been okay. Anyways. Alright, I'm just trying to set this up so that they'll go on in the background. There we go. I need to make another one of these, though. Yeah, see, this is where that interstellar or inter interplanetary uh, power would come in handy, because then I could just beam power from the other planet. Do um, do those turbines depend on wind, or are they just always... They the are wind, way? and I think I can check. Not, they're a little upset right now, because I don't really have a lot of them. But yeah, 70% wind. Gotcha. There's solar, you can burn fuel. This is kind of. I, I understand why, but I've never liked the fact. Like in RimWorld, I I use the water wheels yeah. because water wheel is continuous power versus solar and wind. It has to be windy or sunny. Yeah, I just that always like gives me anxiety. Uh, All right, so I got silicon here too. This is nice. Oh, make some computers. Just make some computers. Yeah. Yeah. Ian. Ian. Make, make putters. Make some computers. Make putters. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have gold for your computers? I'm up. Oh, you know what? I have those. It'll just take me a while to... <laughs> I'm a computer. Stop ah. all the downloading. Ah. <laughs> My hey. pie. <laughs> oh. I need two of these. Dami Mas Daddy. Yankee. Remember when you didn't know that song? What song? Dami Mas Daddy. Dami Mas Gasolina. Oh. How do I? How do I? I always thought you were singing a song slowly, and then I heard that song, and that is literally how it is. Do you ever, do you ever sing, um... How do I, how do I, how do I breed without you? Hey, you know what? Valid question. Yeah. Valid? Turkey valid. Based or Okay, so I got silicone. So basically, like, I did not have silicone or titanium veins on my home planet. So, those are, you know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Okay, and then I'm researching th 
this. So I may actually have a rocket suit, but let me let me just see. They also do a pretty good job of you highlight over it and it'll tell you what you need for it. Oh, this is the intraplanetary. You need the interstellar, which requires yellow. Oh, you idiot. God! Let me at least see if I can get. Hey, I'm wearing a NASA sweatshirt, I just realized. I'm on brand. Battery. Oh, but wait, this crystal smelting gets me these crystals. Oh, that's easy. So then, how do I make this? It's just crystals. I'm actually very, very close to yellow now that I think about it. I'm close to you. Close to goo. All right. Where, where did I see that thing that was like interplanetary? Oh, right there, thruster. No, I mean the. Oh, satellite power in. Oh, that was cool. Where was it? Distribution. All the way at the bottom. Satellite power distribution oh, system. Yeah. That's yeah. dope, yo. Yeah, so I feel like this is factorial, but it. I'm gonna say it's not quite as good as factorial because it doesn't quite have the, the full level polish, and I'm not crazy about it being 3D move around. It's harder to set stuff up, but they go further, like the satellite power and stuff. No, I'm looking for is the one that let me do interstellar power transmission. Yeah, I'm not there yet. Maybe I should go. Wait. Go what home, was... Sam. What was that? Solar sail orbital system. Launch a large number of solar sails to form Dyson Swarm, which can more effectively obtain the radiant energy of stars. EM Rail Ejector. Launch a large amount of solar sails into the orbit of the Dyson Swarm to form a Dyson Swarm. So I think that's how you... Oh yeah, this is the main quest line. Okay. And then you can do a ray receiver. Receiving high energy rays transmitted from the Dyson Swarm. So you can literally shoot Dyson parts into the... Wow. Oh, like they line up? Yeah. Like you shoot them over there? That's cool. Okay, and these are just like... Let's see this. See, that's kind of lame. So once you make 4,000 white, beat the game. Okay. So I have, I have silicon set up. I'm going to take some fat stacks. I'm gonna take some fat stacks from my titanium as well. And I think it's time for me to go home. Time to go home Where the people say I'm cool Well... Okay, alright, you ready? I'm in sail mode. Jeez. I, I really wish it would... Sail! Let me like target where I'm going, you know what I mean? T to target. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, that felt good. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think it's over there. I can see it. I hope so. Your core energy will deplete soon. Goodbye, Mr. Stark. I'm Are you headed. a little boy in the robot? I don't think so. Okay, well, I have some bad news. You're not gonna make it? No, I've broken <laughs> gravity. But I've also run out of fuel, so I can't go any faster. Yeah, right? but I think... Thanks. Thankfully, inertia is a thing. Oh, no, wait, I have some. I have a little bit. Oh, thanks. What is this? Logistics thing. Oh, but maybe, maybe I can make some more. You know what I need to research next is these... Hydrogen fuel. Oh, that's what I'm researching right now. So once that's done, I can make a hydrogen fuel rod out of s things I don't currently have. Okay, got it. 
This game's great though. I wish I had a multiplayer. I feel like this game would be perfect for multiplayer because you could have a system where you have your own planets and then once yeah. you start unlocking it properly, then you start sending stuff to each other. I'm sure. Is that, do they have a roadmap or anything? I don't know. Why don't you look it up? Mm. I hate you so much. <laughs> I wish it was you. I learned it from watching you. Hey, I'll bring you some soap this weekend. Why would I want soap? Maggie, how many bars of soap have you made? She's made, I would say, at least a hundred bars of soap in the last two weeks. Jeez. Why? She's got, uh, she's got addiction. It's called soap. Well, folks, uh, I'm not going to say <laughs> that's going to do it for this stream. I just want to set some expectations that I don't care when the stream ends because I will be playing this game for another two hours at least tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, boy. Um, you know, we could talk about stuff. You've been watching any? You said you've been watching Lord of the Rings. They, they hold up? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I, I think they do. Um, they look plus they look really great. Like there's one or two things um, where it doesn't quite work out. Um, also, I I don't know if it's because it's in 4K, but it probably is. Like you can, I think you can tell a little bit more that they're models now. Some oh, of the really? stuff. I think so. Um, it's I kind of had that feeling. So when they made the D special, when that guy made the D specialized 4K versions of Return of the Jedi. Uh, or Blu-ray versions. I don't even think it was 4K. That one, you could really tell they were models because you knew, like, it was never meant to be seen at such a high resolution. So yeah. you'd be like, oh, these are models. So it, it kind of makes you realize that when they up a lot of movies, for old movies, sometimes they touch up stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it, it's interesting. But yeah, the Lord of the Rings are good. Uh, we, we're almost done with uh, fellowship. Uh, uh, then, uh, excuse me, what? Uh, what? You've been, oh, you've been watching a, like, piecemeal, in a way? Yeah, so, uh, well, we, I watched, Karen said she wasn't paying attention. I watched Fel Fellowship of the Ring uh, over Christmas, and then she wanted to rewatch it because she wasn't paying attention. So we were doing one disc at a time, because, like, each movie's on two discs. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, I think we got interrupted on Sunday when we were watching uh, Fellowship. So we just had to finish Fellowship because we're watching it again. And I, like, I haven't been pushing it because I had just watched it. So like once we hit two towers, then it's like, I don't watch it. Also, I was going to say, I don't know if Karen told you, but like that um, warming tray isn't... She was saying I don't that it's not needed anytime soon. So like, you can kind of plan around when you want to bring it up. It yeah. wasn't, like, in a rush. But, I mean, at the same time, I'd have to bring it inside instead of leaving it in the car. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just didn't want you to think they, like, need it immediately. I need it immediately. I need it immediately. Um, are you watching the theatrical or the uh, extended? Extended. They have both, right? Yes. Actually, honestly, I could just give you the theatrical discs. Yeah, actually, yeah, that would work. Because I'm not watching the extended again. I made that yeah. mistake last time I tried to watch those movies. Oh, it's so good. I like, because I, I told you how I saw them kind of around the time they came out. Didn't like them. Then I read the books in 2012. Really enjoyed the books. And then I was like, okay, time to give it a solid watch. And I'll watch the extended because I know the background material I want as much. And it that was a terrible idea. I was bored like 20 minutes into the first movie and I was just continuously bored. <laughs> um, <laughs> so actually, I don't even know if I finished my extended watch, my extended watching after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I It's been a while since I've seen the theatricals. I just like all the extra stuff. Yeah, I just remember so. some of it. Like I knew some, was it, I knew parts I knew like what some of the extended stuff was and I I remember not really liking it. So I'm 
for my <clears throat> third attempt at watching these movies, I'm going to watch the theatrical. I'm just getting so choked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, Daddy is more than halfway there. I'm so proud of you. Um, when I get home, I need to start making yellow. Oh, I was going to say, um, I how I can tell both of us have Game Pass is we keep adding games onto our what have you been playing list that either I have downloaded mm -hmm. and was about to play. And I just don't want to look like I'm copying you, so I haven't mm. played it yet. <laughs> have I told you lately about uh, Sopranos and how good it is? You should probably watch that next. Oh, time. I have a present for you. I, I haven't gotten it yet, though. Even, but I need to get it. Why even freaking bring it up, Bill? Uh, no, I just, you made me think of it and I said it and I realized I gotta talk to Karen about it. So I probably won't even give it to you. Never mind. Okay, great. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Will. And you wanna show off your soap? Wanna be embarrassed? It looks good. Get, get on the marble ones. Those look really good. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? Um, Horse. Well, she does cold process, which is it involves her like mixing like lye or something. I don't know. Oh, it's not is she like burn not herself like, like in a. It's not. It's not um, hot process. Does she burn herself like in uh that movie David Fincher Fight Club? Does she burn herself with lye? Uh, I you know I don't think she has yet. Oh no. Isn't it like you get lye wet and it burns you? Why? I'm trying to see. I'm on their Kickstarter page. I'm trying to see if they um, have something about multiplayer. Oh, see? Oh, wow. That looks really good. Doesn't it? Does it smell good? It does smell good. It's, you does it make me straight. clean good? Or does it feel like crap? What is this tea tree? That's tea tree? Oh my god, I really just want to get captured in this orbit, please. I, I, I am so low on energy, I can't really do a whole lot right now. Wait, I got that. November 5th. Oh, there we go. Like... I just need to point myself at that planet, but it's like... a terrible mechanic and I want it to stop. There's no plans for multiplayer right now, but it hasn't been ruled out. Just not planning on it. So once they finish the game, they might look into it. I, I'm, I think I'm... I don't want to say I'm stuck in space, but I may be stuck Wait, in space. Why can't you go... It's right there. You're flying away from it. I don't have enough energy to like maneuver to it. Either that oh. or it's it's forked and it won't let me control it. Uh, let me check some settings here. Control. Flying up, flying down. Oh my god, it's keypads? Sail left. Sail right. This is R. Q and R. Well, let me just try this. No, I think it's just rotating. That's just rotating me. I need to I need to go like up, down, right? Space and alt. Up down CD Projekt Red has released official Cyberpunk 77 modding tools. Who cares? Oh. Hey, your game sucks. Hey, are we going to talk about um, GameStop on Thursday? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's just I wasn't, it wasn't on the list, so I wasn't sure if you wanted to or not. Uh, yeah, it's in, I put Robin Hood as what I've been playing. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I sold that today. Made a killing. Oh and then 
the market closed and it went up another hundred dollars and then Chris sold his and made a more of a killing. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to actually do any of that, but I probably should. Not necessarily on GameStop, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I flipped GameStop and bought 50 shares of this pharmaceutical company that's about to merge. I'm up, I'm, almost $400. Dyson Sphere program stuck in space. Nailed it. Uh, there's got to be a way. There's got to be. Like, I typed in stuck in space and it, it like, auto completed. Oh. I'm gonna turn this down. So Let's talk way. about Grammarly. Let's not talk about Grammarly. Oh, I have an ad because I'm. Not signed in. Oh no, this is a 40 minute video. Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you are stuck in space, it's just—it's weird. I feel like I feel like my. How do I put this? So you see my little thing at the bottom, like the the, the circular radar. Yeah. So that's that's telling me when I'm turning and not. But I can't I can't like go up and down. I feel like you should be able to kill yourself and respawn. I've accidentally gravity slingshot myself like no I'm still in the system at least yeah but what I mean is like I can rotate yeah but it's not letting me but you're out of fuel too yeah like I'm basically out of fuel and then there's also this at the bottom that tells me I'm out of fuel it's it's charges a little bit, but but see that but what I mean is like I can I can rotate fine without fuel, right? Oh, you know, yeah. So if you watch my fuel, you can rotate as much as you want, but as soon as I hit the the W, uh... oh no, that that slows me down. But I, I actually I think that's I think that's going forward. I don't think that's I don't think that's down. Like I don't know how to pitch down. Okay, all right, let's see. Uh, someone asked uh, their Twitter about multiplayer, and the guy said our lips are sealed. So I feel like it's probably higher on their priority list. Got it. So they're definitely working on it. Okay, let me let me reset these. So I have flying up. Fail fly left sail acceleration. Fly up. Oh no. Oh no, I can't change these. You know what? Okay. Well, you know what? This is. Wait, what's How today's? How far away was? Today's the twenty-six. <laughs> Okay, all right, here we go. Yay, bring more fuel with you. Yes, bring a lot more fuel with me, and then have it do the exact same thing. That's silicon. So let me take these. This person's tweet. This game looks awesome. Only thing is, I get confused every time the globe rotates. Feels unnatural somehow. Feels <laughs> unnatural because the Earth is flat. <laughs> I mean, you as a flat earther. Makes sense. Where was that coal? There it is, coal. Oh. 
Alright, I was able to recover some money. Alright. So now I want to build a miner so I can completely gather some coal here. These. I need to produce two. Thank you. Alright. Got it. There's also shortcuts, so you see how it has numbers on the toolbar. So if I hit two, F1, boom, got that out. Someone just wrote about GameStop on Twitter, but they wrote GameSpot. What? That makes me happy. I think they wrote it by accident. We. Yeah, this game's pretty neat. Up. Hey, I'm genuinely gonna download it and play it when I have time to play video games. Other than one I'm playing. Okay, Daddy's got a decent amount of calls. Oh, Ian, my AMC stock is up. Big. I thought AMC was short. Uh, if it's a short, it it'll go up and then possibly squeeze and then rock it and then I sell. All right, maybe I should start doing that. Yeah. Just we um, I, I mean, we started before the GameStop stuff. We just wanted to do it. Yeah. Because we were like trying to get into sports betting because our company is sports betting and then chris was like hey we should just do stocks because it's like sports betting but reliable i'm like that's a good idea yeah so we've been trading that it's genuinely pretty fun and there's a good good discord we use to get like some uh like quick hits on stuff what people think are gonna like pop and stuff yeah um yeah, AMC did drunk crazy today, look Roy boy. Yeah, so like that's the whole thing with GameStop is it's all these redditors are trying to stop the shorters. Yeah. Which is which is working, which is the crazy part. I just you know, maybe we shouldn't should we talk maybe maybe we should save this topic for Thursday? Yeah, I guess we can. Yeah. I mean I'll yeah, I'll talk about it a bit more Thursday. It's just Yeah. Now I just I have Robin Hood open all day and I just watch stocks. It's like, it's crazy. Because I, um, I, I, we're gonna buy a house at the end of this year, and I was talking to my pops, and I was like, you know, we're, we're lucky enough where we can probably get a loan without having to put a down payment down. And so we were like, okay, should we put the down payment down or not? And part of it is if you don't put a down payment down, you may have to pay like PMI, which is like a, it's like an insurance that goes on top because you didn't put a down payment down. But long story short, we don't have to pay that. So basically, we're looking at either the full loan amount or a partial loan amount because we put a down payment down. Yeah. And my dad was basically like, well, the mortgage rate is so low right now. It's like 2.5 to 3% that you can put that 30,000 down to reduce your loan payments, or you can just keep that 30,000, put it in the stock market. The average returns are like six to 10% over 30 years. So you can basically cover the, the more the more interest rate that you're paying and make a little bit more on top and i was like yeah that makes sense fortunately that would require me to actually start investing which is just way too intimidating for me to do yeah it's it's um yeah it's crazier than you think yeah or it's easier than you think i should say um i mean i'm already doing it with um what's it called i mean my 401k is basically yes yeah. yeah so we've <clears throat> yeah, there's a couple stocks we've done some. The, the problem is like you just have to get to the point where you have enough money in it that you're actually making a lot of money. Yeah, um, and that's the thing is I have enough in savings. I feel like I could have a decent seed, but I would still want to start yeah. low. So we, we we've Chris and I have put three hundred dollars in each, mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm at like six fifty now. So I've made three hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So it's kind of nice because if I lose money, like as long as I'm at least over three hundred, I haven't felt like I've lost money. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of nice um, but as as we're getting more money I'm buying more shares of like penny stocks and when those go up then you sell those and you make like yeah. it's like one of your little incremental games 
That should be your new incremental game. I was about to say. <laughs> honestly, the big problem I have, though, is that the terminology just feels inscrutable. Like, calls yeah. and puts. And I, and we, just... We've watched a couple uh, uh, videos and stuff. Like, when we are trying to learn about the squeezes and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. I think, uh, like, uh, our current plan... Uh, like, we just wanted to get out of GameStop because it was stressful. Um, yeah. But I think if it goes down again, we're going to buy some more before the um, fiscal year ends, before they post earnings, and then um, sell again gotcha. for now. I like, I would have just, I would do it like, you ever gambled? Like at a casino or something like that? Yeah. So like, I, I've only done it a little bit just because I don't really want to enjoy it. But I always do like, I'm going in with $100. And the first thing I do is assuming I, I, as soon as I hit $200, then I pull $100 out and I put it in my other pocket and I go, I break even. I'm not touching that for the rest of the night. Yeah. So, I, so I feel like with stocks, I would probably do that. But with GameStop, I'll just be like, <coughs> just continuously do that. Be like, okay, I'm going to pull out yeah. safety, safety. So even if it does drop, I'm not losing the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, eventually I'm just going to pull out the $300 I originally put in and then it's all play money at that point um yeah the first yeah. time i gambled was on a cruise ship with karen and her family hmm. and i put twenty dollars twenty dollars in and then i hit the thing and i won three dollars and i turned to karen and i said i think i'm good i i literally i gave this machine twenty dollars and it gave me 23 back yeah I and she's like no you have to play more so i think i ended up winning like 40 bucks that night yeah and i was like this is the best thing ever like what? Yeah, I used uh, to be I used to be big into casino games like in high school because it was like I would play poker with friends and play roulette and craps and all that. It not for real money, just being like I want to understand these games. And honestly, the game that I was pretty good at was roulette. And it's it's because so they have these. There's basically 36 numbers, right? And then a and then there's a zero and a double zero. So they have dozens, which is you're betting on 1 through 12, 13 through 24, 25 through 36. And basically, whatever you put down, you get you get double back. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you put down, you, put double, you get double back. So if you put down 10 and it hits, then you get 30 back. So I, I, I have this very simple method. It's pretty stupid, but it works really well, which is basically there are, there are three dozens. And I bet on like the first dozen and the second dozen, I put $10 down on each. And if as long as one of them hits, then I've spent $20 and I've gotten $30 back. And it's like, it's like an almost, it's almost two thirds odds that I will get money back. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you so I just do that. It's because if it hits zero or double zero, I don't get it. And even if, even if it hits the third one, if it's the third one, then I don't get it. But if it hits the first or second dozen, then I get 30 bucks back. And so I would just do that. You just play like four times and you've like tripled your money and then you walk away. <laughs> That's not bad. It's very stupid. I'm gambling just... now. Yeah. All right. I think, sorry, I'm just trying to get enough in my inventory that, um, part of the problem is I don't know how to, how to ditch things out of my inventory. Right way. That's the right way. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to fill up my my suit and fill up my well, not fill up my backpack, but have a decent amount left over. Wait, that's not one. But up, but up, but up, but up. Um, yeah, you know, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll look up Robin Hood tomorrow, put some initial money in, and then I'll just have you tell me what stocks to buy. Yes, uh, yeah. and let me know when you do that. I can send you the invite link, link, and we each get a free stock. Oh, really? What's and the there's a one one hundred chance 
one one hundred chance you could get an Apple or a Facebook stock. Oh, okay. Because I feel but, like be between you and I, like we have enough. Like, remember when GameStop made that announcement a couple months ago, where it was like Microsoft was like, "Hey, we're gonna give GameStop a portion of all digital sales if they if if they sell the console." For the lifetime of the console it's like that news came mm -hmm. out and the gamestop stock jumped and it's like yeah we obviously saw that coming you know so as soon as that news comes out it's like if we had hopped on it we would have gotten a 10 percent bump so it's like yeah i feel like we know enough in certain industries to be able to day trade basically yeah totally yeah um okay yeah yeah it's super fun I i'm genuinely enjoying it yeah plus you feel like you're owning a piece of a company which is fun I just, well, okay, we'll, we'll talk, uh, it's like skirting the line. We'll talk about GameStop on Thursday. But yeah, definitely. Because I, I feel like I have a decent amount saved up that I really should get into investing to start making my money. Yeah, work for me, you know. Work for you. Okay, daddy's ready. Are you going to make it this time? Don't know. I'm aiming at it. I'm gonna go get another seltzer. Hey folks, I may be okay. Which reminds me, I gotta send Kyle the uh, episode notes. Oh, no, wait. Well, it doesn't look like I'm heading in the right direction. Well, I'm heading in the right direction. Um, also, folks, if you saw the hit new show, Will's First JRPG on Monday, or on YouTube three hours ago, you'll be happy to know episode two tomorrow around 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, how are you liking it so far? I came into work this morning and I said to Chris, I just want to play more Chrono Trigger. It's genuinely good. a good game. Maybe, maybe I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've been bad. I, okay, so I've been playing a lot of indie games lately and I just like, I forgot how delightful it is to play like just a really nice, small, like explosive experience in like two, three hours and then you're done with it. And I feel like Chrono Trigger may yeah. be that. No. Yeah. Uh, I people told me 11 hours I, I went to how long to beat and it said like 18 and Chris was like no but I think that's like if you're really taking your time um, yeah but we're trying to decide after for Will's first JRPG 2 if we're gonna I think I think Final Fantasy 7 that's what I th so we were trying to decide do we want to jump ahead and do like a really new one and then go back to a sort of old one or go like halfway. So I, we're thinking Final Fantasy VII, it's on the list. I think- Plus it's on it's on Game Pass. Yeah, I, I almost think it's like, you're you're going through the JRPG canon in a way. Yeah. Not explicitly like we are with server quests, but it's like, you're trying yeah, to I hit think a lot of the good the stuff. The greatest hits. Yeah. And, and uh, there's other good Super Nintendo ones, but I don't want to do two Super Nintendos in a row. So like if I went then to, Final Fantasy 7, I could go back to like Secret of Mana yeah. or something like that. Final Fantasy 7, it's it's real good and it's I mean, you could emulate it, but it's also there's a pretty good Switch port. The um it's on Game Pass, PC Game Pass. Oh, really? Yeah, I installed it. Um it holds up. It's like the combat can be a little wonky and there's definitely I think I stopped when I hit a boss fight and it was clear I had to go grind and I was like I don't feel like doing that, but story man it just whips from the start yeah. it's like i'm in it i'm 100%. enjoying this one so far plus i've been able to name my characters there's the main character horse um his his girlfriend sweat oh my god <laughs> um what did I, I just named the frog i think i think his name's jump i can't remember i love naming characters in game. <laughs> so you know excited. at some point you're gonna have to play pokemon I've tried to play Blue about four or five times. I think I think that's too old, though. Honestly, I I see. I like the old ones. 
I, I, it's just I've never stuck with them. I, I did enjoy playing it. My other thing is I just don't care about Pokemon. Maybe you should do a, um, I forget what it's called, but there's this run where it's basically like the first six Pokemon you catch, you have to keep the entire time. The entire yes, game. Um, you become like very... Null, null sat run? Null something run? like that, yeah. Like null and, the, and then you become very attached to that, basically. Do you do you like the McElroy, McElroy boy? What's his name? Uh, Polygon guy? Aren't they all? I can't think of his name. The skinny one. The one who ate the banana. Oh, Justin? No, Justin. that's not Justin. Uh, no, not Justin. Griffin? Patrick? And Griffin? Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. Um, he did a series at Polygon where he did that that run in one mm -hmm. of the ones. And <clears throat> as someone who doesn't like Pokemon, genuinely one of the funniest oh. and fun videos I've ever seen. So glad I, I don't have to. I highly recommend somebody. watching it. Daddy's home, baby. Daddy's home. Dummy must. Daddy's home. <laughs> All right. So I need to build. Um, how do I build yellow? Uh, Zach jumped in the chat and said, nice hat. Uh, he also said that on Saturday. Thank you. It is a nice hat. It's a nylon hiking hat. Hey. And I like to wear it. You want some subpixel hats? I was thinking about ordering some. Karen asked uh, when we were making sub pickle, sub pickle, sub pickle. <gasps> That's a great pickle oh, name. Pickle. Oh. Well, welcome. Um, to yes, pickle. I think we should order some sub pixel hats. That's um, a smart idea. Honestly, the big hurdle is that it's really only cost effective to do with your AliExpress, but then I have to like, I have to deal with design slash printing collaboration with somebody who is not probably not going to have great English skills. And that seems it's going to be very That's frustrating. True. Why can't I make yellow stuff? Uh, why can't you? OK, I can hand make it. I know that much. You just told me that. So. Hydrogen fuel rod. Nice. See, that's that's more compact fuel for me. The Zach says, how much you want him to spend per shirt invades. for a pair? Perhaps you can get some. By I, I don't really care about shirts. I want a hat. Collection. I want a trucker's hat that has something on the front of it. With and I want to pay five dollars. And I want it to be embroidered. I want you to be embroidered. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to find where you unlock yellow. Yeah. This needs like a search button, like Factorio added. Where do you unlock blue? I don't even remember. Oh, was that yellow? No, it'll be up here in this box. Oh, that unlocks red. Energy oh, this? Matrix. Yeah. So it's a box shape. So is it above one up uh, to your right? Here? High strength oh, that's crystal. Thruster. No, up, up, up one. The next one over. There, there we go. Okay, all right. So let me do this. Nailed it. Q and Q. Okay, this needs crystals. Oh, which I get through crystals anyways. Right. Zach said embroidered trucker, 4.2 million. Per? Per head. Jesus. <laughs> That's Jeff Bezos' money. Burp. Zach, if you do want to know, this hat's from Topo Designs, who is my new favorite um, uh, company. Ooh, I can do. I hope it. they don't do anything bad. Interplanetary. Well, oh, three total. So it's what? One point four mil each. That's pretty cheap. I just want, I just, honestly, I just want my Trump hat, but to have it say something's a lot. Yeah. So I got a nice Trump hat. Man, um, in question. like 50 years, those hats are going to be great. Question. A legitimate question. When can I wear that in public? <laughs> and not. Uh, I was going to say 10 years. Uh, see, I still... If your original plan, if he hadn't become president, it would have been fine. Yes. 
It would have been wearing like a whatever hat. Like a Walter Mondale hat. Yeah. I think it'd be... When was... When was Reagan Bush was 80, right? Uh, no. Uh, Reagan... Well, Reagan was 80, 88. 80, 84. Bush Sr. was 88. But wasn't he vice president? Reagan Bush? Yeah, that, that's what I mean. I'm saying, like, people wear Reagan Bush stuff now. In the 80s. So I think 40 years. The, I can't wait that long. It's too good of a hat. 2062. It is a very good hat. 40 years is basically what's access. Is. It's like the design of that hat is on point. I know. It's incredible. What am I doing? What can I build? Yeah. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, I was saying I like wearing this hat for streams because it's nylon and it it's like light, so it doesn't make my head all hot, and I get to wear a head covering. It'll make my head all hot. Head all hot. Head because all I hot. Get, I get uh, headphone hair if I don't wear a hat. That is true. Reagan Bush didn't have a flag. Yeah, but neither does following. Trump. He just But has... how long until people start doing the Confederate flag? Immediately. <laughs> Soon enough. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's see. I don't think they did the Confederate flag until, like, was it the 40s? Yeah, when they were stupid. When that became, like, popular. Like a dog whistle, basically. I'm gonna make some miners. You're a dog. You're a dog. I started reading um, the Drizzit books. Excuse the, me. The Drow, famous Drow, R.A. Salvatore. Oh. Books. Oh, okay. okay. Um, it's his famous work, or one of his famous works. Anyways, um, let's slow it down. But uh, I don't know. I, I I'm okay with it so far. I, I really wanted something. I, I read a Jack Reacher, which is my guilty pleasure book series. That's a good movie. I need to see the movie still. I, the the book it's based on is the ninth book, and I just finished the second book. It's Those books book. are like delicious popcorn. Oh, um, yeah, I bet. The um, no. So, so I really wanted like I don't know. I was getting real. I'm, really into like 80s sword and sorcery books or uh movies mm -hmm. and i was like oh, i just want to read like a super pulpy like D, D book and so this is it it's like full of like crazy names and everything uh yeah so i think i am kind of enjoying it because it's good writing but yeah. well hey good for you buddy you know i'm not go i'm not cooking through it fast enough which is annoying to me plus i just got all those the Annihilation trilogy. I kind of want to read. You know that movie, Annihilation? Oh. Natalie Portman. Question. William Yosef is course first. Yes. Do you like that movie? I haven't seen it. I have the book. I There's something about Alex Garland. Just can't quite get into it. No. I liked... Uh, Ex Machina. I and... I didn't. I wasn't crazy about it. And the other thing was, I think it committed. Um. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, I have Expanse books. I so I can't remember which Expanse book I left off on. So I want to reread them all. But mm -hmm. I have one, two, four, five, and six here. I left three at my parents' house. And it gives me anxiety to start reading it without having all of them, so I have to wait. What what the heck just happened? Oh, I, I tried doing? to build something and my inventory's full. Idiot! I messed up! What other movie says Alex Garland made? Did The Beach. Uh, I've only kind of barely watched that. He wrote Sunshine. I, no, he wrote Beach, he wrote Sunshine. He like wrote Sunshine. a Halo script that was not good that I read. I wasn't a big Sunshine oh, fan. Uh, I understand people's problems with the end of it, but I, I genuinely like it. The beginning of that movie is very mm. good. Oh, um, Ex Machina. The big problem I have with Ex Machina is that like, it takes place in a house, right? That house is very small. But it, 
like I forget what the term of it. I feel like it's like cinematic geography in terms of like how you like show a space. And if you do it well, then you'll be able to like draw it, you know, like like the Simpsons in a way, like you're able to draw the house, the office, you're, you can draw that. Ex Machina takes place in a house. And if it was properly shot and edited, etc., you would be able to draw that house. And I can't like there's like a couple rooms that you can draw, but then there's like weird hallways. And I'm like, how does this connect to that? And that really threw me off for the movie because I was just like, I want to get to know this space and I can't because it's not connecting. Um, but then the other thing is uh, like Alex Garland for me is a lot like uh, Scorsese. Scar Scar He's a lot like Scorsese in that I don't I'm not a huge fan. I don't I don't get drawn into his movies and I don't really like them. But it's hard for me to explain why. Yeah, there's a like I like Goodfellas a heck of a lot. Um, but I've never See, I wasn't. Not a Scorsese fan. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about Goodfellas. It's just like I I don't know why though, but it's like they just don't grab me. Zach said, "I'm guessing that was on purpose, like a maze." That's true. It's I don't know. Because it was a small house. There we um, go. He's got some coal. He wrote 28 Days Later. Yes, that's right. He did. Yes. And he wrote Dread. Um, he wrote Enslaved Odyssey to the West? The video game? Uh, that sounds about right. I mean, he is a gamer. That's great. Uh, and he wrote... That dev show I heard was actually pretty... Wasn't that pretty good? Well received? You mean the one with Michael Haney from It's Always Sunny? No, that is... That Are you talking about the uh, the Grand Theft Auto one? <clears throat> I'm talking about devs. It was Nick Offerman, a uh, bunch of other people. Mm, it I heard about on it. Amazon Prime. I think people liked it. From what I remember. I remember people tweeting about it. Oh, do you now? The one you're talking about is that other one that I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Mystic or whatever it is. Mystic Quest. Mythic Quest. Mythic Quest. Mythic yeah. Quest. I actually, there's stuff on Apple TV that I want to watch, but I will not pay for that stupid service. I have it for free for some reason, so uh, I feel to borrow it. No, Will. That's illegal. Just discord me and stuff. Hey, you live in my house, remember? Yeah, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea why I have it. I have it till like July or something. I think it came free with my phone. That's the other thing. I meant to mention oh, this. Yeah. Um, I, I own right, Half-Life Alex, um, and I don't know why. Are you sure you're not borrowing it from my library? No, I, I oh, own it. There was something. I've looked up every bundle everything that came out no, every no. version that gave there you a was, free version of it yeah there was some way you got a free version and i don't qualify for any of them i looked them all up i spent wow. like a, and i have no idea why i own half life alex oh. but i own it yeah, i guess you can play it eventually yeah eventually okay all right so i fixed red this I don't know is why i thought of that i feel like this game would be great for streaming if you were playing at the same time, but you can't. Yeah. You, yeah, multiplayer-wise, it'd be great. Not even just multiplayer, just like both of us playing at the same uh, time. Oh, that's true. That would be pretty good. Because, like, I'm having a blast, but I feel like... I totally <clears throat> understand if you're getting bored. No, I'm, you want me to get off, don't you, so you can end the stream. I can't want you to get off on stream. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm... I'm probably going to play this for another hour. It's been a day, folks. Yeah, I'm trying to... Daddy's been drinking. Also, this game is crap. So. It's 10.29. I don't have enough... Karen's still playing in the other room. I don't have enough time to get into Last of Us, so I'm just going to hang out. Watch you uh, do this. Yeah, so, so I'll probably... I don't know. I mean, I'm fine driving all the way up. 
Yeah, it's up to you. I, I didn't want to make you do that, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could meet it. But it's just like one of those things where it's like if I drove halfway. The thing about driving in New York is at least I get to see the city, you know? That's true. But I can't really do anything there. And, and so basically the problem is we've been taking COVID quarantine seriously the entire time. However, we have to take it even more seriously now because basically Maggie has like clinicals that she's doing for her nurse practitioner's degree. Mm -hmm. So she has like, I think it's like 180 hours clinical work per semester. And the problem is if she has to quarantine or she gets exposed to COVID, then she's not going to be able to, she's going to be like no clinicals for two weeks. And that would throw off her requirement for the semester, which could basically mean that her graduation could get pushed by a semester just by exposure to COVID. So yeah. that, that's why like, like normally we've been doing it pretty safe where it's like, if I go up there and I meet you guys, it's just like you and Aaron and maybe one other person, that's it. Okay, I guess it's by an entire year, not just a semester. Let's screw Maggie! <laughs> so basically I'm gonna have to go up there and like mask drop off <clears throat> and around. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, hand sanitize everything for you. The good news is she's getting the vaccine and like uh, the second dose of the vaccine in like a week or two. But nice. I, after that, I think I can expose myself as much as I, I would like. It's to. orgy season after that. <laughs> we should do a we should do a board game day stream in the studio. What do you think? <gasps> yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have a lot of good things. I got Terra Mystica now. I did buy. I bought a cheap USB HDMI capture, and it seems to work okay. And that plus Obius Ninja means I think we can basically have like a bajillion camera angles. Nice. That cam link um, for the Chrono Trigger stream, I had that plugged into the um, SNES Classic. And I think it was sending a delayed audio signal. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I would definitely use the Elgato for that. Yeah. yeah. I just wasn't thinking when I set it up. Um, but I got to pack that up for you. Because I, I, I did have that issue with the cam link and I had to I had to sync it. It's it's pretty easy to figure out the offset because basically you just record in OBS and then you open that Premiere yeah. or whatever and you sync it back up and then figure out the time difference and then add it in OBS. I'm, I'm debating buying a actual capture card because Blackmagic yeah. makes the deck link capture card that lets you have... So the problem with a lot of capture cards is you can only do one HDMI at a time, even if it has multiple. So the deck link one lets you have four separate HDMI signals in, and you can have them all on screen at the same time. What does OBS support that? Yes, OBS supports. OBS supports, supports deck separate. link uh, directly. Oh, nice. How um, much is the deck link? It's $545. Honestly, that's not that bad considering a decent Elgato is like 200 yes. bucks. But what does the deck and link support? Does it support 4K60? I don't remember. I gotta check. There's also a Magwell one that is 899. Mm -hmm. So I just have to check those. I, I'm honestly, I mean, Chris and I are gonna split it, but I was thinking of just throwing our uh, gains we just got today. At yeah. It. Although Karen was telling me she needs, she's expecting you to use that on a rice cooker. Yes, we were also discussing a rice cooker. I need to thank you. Your rice cooker tip, it worked. Let me. Yay! Let me tell you why. Because I have the cup, right, and it's one cup of rice that they provide. And I looked at the bottom of it. It says 180 milliliters. Guess how many milliliters are in a, a U.S. Imperial cup? 230. It's like 240. Yeah. Oh, so I'm was, so happy. I was like, why would you do that? I mean, it's funny. It, I told Karen that story and she said, I bet that's exactly what it is. But it kind of it kind of makes sense, though, because if you think about it, cup. Cup is both a standard, but also a, a casual term. So, yeah, it's so funny. I'm so happy that was the answer. I'm just happy I'm able to make decent rice yeah. now because Maggie uses her stupid pinky trip. Yeah. And she was Cut just her pinky off. Send it to the Yakuza. You said to go to the first knuckle, stick it in the water. And even doing that, it wasn't doing it. I was like, this knuckle? <laughs> okay, don't be racist <laughs> on stream. Thank you. Yeah, especially yourself. Oh my. <laughs> At least she didn't say the C word again. <laughs> she, she's like, I'm allowed to say it. I'm like, no. 
<laughs> How are you not, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, you don't have a C-word card? No. <laughs> or pass? I should make her one for her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate oh, this. Oh, boy. It's a great oh, stream. I, apparently I helped Zach with that info as well. Yeah, it's... Oh, well. I think I was the first in my family to get a rice cooker. Yeah. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's... But like, I really don't blame them, though, because they're like, just use one cup. And it's like, okay. <laughs> they mean the cup. It's okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, I want to get a new rice cooker. I don't even know. Anyways, the, the, yeah, that capture card, I got to look up. But honestly, I would, having I four would say, HDMI's in. I, the only thing is, I would say it would only be worth that much money if it's 4K. 60. If it's, if it's just 1080, 60, I don't know if it's worth that price. Because if you're spending that much, you should probably try to feature proof. You know what I was thinking about doing, though, was... So I'm trying to set up my camera again as a webcam, and it's just... It's not really meant for remote control, so it's very difficult to set it up. I, th I think I just might may buy one of those Blackmagic cameras, like, at a discount used. One of those, like, studio cameras that's very easy to control remotely. I don't yeah. know. I can find one cheap because I really do like the idea of having a better camera for my webcam, but I just really want to control it remotely. I don't want to have to keep getting up and adjusting it and fiddling on the camera. Um. HDMI. Oh, there's. What are any of these things? HDMI inputs are switchable between SD, HD, Ultra HD, 4K, DCI, and DVI. Oh, that's yeah. good. What's the frame rate though? Um, it does. Four is four K is twenty one sixty, right? Or is four K? Yeah. Well, yes. yes. So, so this says uh, well twenty one sixty is ultra HD. This does four K twenty three point nine eight through sixty. Oh, yeah. Man, get that then. So that's yeah. four four K sixty inputs. Yeah. That's real good. That's, I think that's I solid. It. Yeah. What is Have it? Just PCI video. Express? Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be good. <laughs> Man, I yeah, wish I'll we could build about that like a proper studio because I feel like we would kill it. We really would. Mm -hmm. I know. I wish you lived closer. Stop I... moving farther away. I bought lottery tickets last week because it was like a billion dollar jackpot. And I was like, I got 40 bucks to spend. Might as well. <laughs> we got a gamble. And, and I was like, every time I buy lottery tickets, which is like once every 10 years, I'm always just like, okay, if I win. And literally one of them was like, if I win, I'm just like, I'm just going to throw $10 million at Subpixel right away. And just be like, boys, <laughs> we're all moving to Florida. <laughs> to the compound. Yeah. And just build out an awesome. I was during all the like uh, inauguration stuff. I was t saying to Chris, I was like, "Man, I bet being a C-SPAN camera person is like awesome. You just sit there, you don't do anything." I was to say it's no, it sounds terrible. <laughs> no, I just oh, be. I bet it's one of those cushy jobs. Uh, George was saying it's kind of like uh, people who have to film depositions. Um, oh, you're yeah. not allowed to cut. So you literally just have that, and it's all filmed on tape still. Oh, really? Wow. Apparently. Um, but yeah, Karen had sent, they were looking for like a graphic designer for the White House. And I was like, yeah, you can do that and I can work for C-SPAN. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad the job went away on January yeah. 21st. Yeah, immediately. Oh, boy. I feel like we should end this stream because I'm barely even playing. I'm just enjoying. yeah. I gotta I gotta go to bed. Anyways. Okay, folks, yeah. thank you guys so much for joining us. We are subpixel uh, subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube page. We got a whole bunch of stuff. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can find him on Twitter at Hunt270. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch at Subpixel Team. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, just kidding. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern is going to be more corner trigger with Will and Chris, and then uh, <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> you know this is bad.